Even the shahada is yeah. nowhere to be found in the Quran. All oh, right. Yeah, so I know why that. Why would you have to testify that the Prophet is the Messenger of God? When, oh, you're, inside, okay. when you're inside your heart, you already know yeah. the, the Prophet is the Messenger. Why do you have to testify? Yeah. What's really important is that we understand where each other are coming from. Because every time a Muslim says that you believe in three gods and, and repeatedly keeps saying it, not you, you're clearly showing that one, you don't understand, and if you keep repeating it, you're refusing to understand. You're saying the Quran is okay. a word of Allah. Have you read Surah 8119? Indeed. Yeah. Okay. Surely a word of a messenger. No. Um, Muhammad is not the is the messenger. The so messenger, that means yeah. that the Quran is for Muhammad. Right. Okay. What scripture is here? Is yeah. Uh, what's happening? No, 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 no. that's it. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, 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 friends, no, no, friends. That's my understanding. Very bright. So you got wow. Okay, but that's my understanding, and that's why I took a step back and I look at what it said. When I don't see five, I don't see five. Right. So you know you're in a minority. And the people who would come up to me, they would say I'm wrong, and they would call me a disbeliever. Well, according to the you know the chief heads of um the the, the, the chief heads of Mecca and Medina, you are wrong. If you're to follow the if you're to follow the official line, they're probably slaughtering me. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why? But. In the, in the Quran it says there's no compulsory in religion. What, what is free for people in the Wasn't sense? Wasn't that verse Just to mention, it yeah. was abrogated. There's no thing that's abrogation in the Quran. People have See that, Well, he, he's a, he's a Muslim that stands in a minority. Okay. He, 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 doesn't accept, a, he doesn't accept that. I don't that mean this to mean, but Allah yeah. said something about um, if we, there's any verse that we've misplaced or... Yeah, uh, yeah. We speaking could about science, it's major science. My understanding. Major science. So like when he reveals a uh, scripture, but does not forget that scripture, Oh. oh, he might replace it with a better one. He will replace it with a better one. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's, that's my understanding. That. The right. prophet did forget some of the scripture. Yeah, because uh, it says in one place. I'm not okay for the verse. It says in one place that God didn't allow him to. God will not allow him to forget, and then it says in another place that he actually did. I don't mean here to uh, twist you up because yeah. you're not ready for that question. Yes. I won't. I won't go into yeah, sure. and make it difficult. But what we're trying to say is that um, we believe that verse was abrogated. There's no confusion. Yeah. Because if you look at Surah 109, verses 1 to 6, that really covers that aspect. What you worship is not what I worship. Yes. What I worship is not what you yes. worship. To you be to your religion, to me be mine. And under it also comes up, um, if you look at the Tafsir by Ibn Kathir, it tells about people that um, put words in Allah's mouth. Mm. They are actually apostates. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and it ties down See, to, well, I think, Surah 24, uh, verse 2, if I'm See, correct, I'm thing. okay. When, are, you, are you Muslim yourself? Or? No, I'm no. a Christian, but okay. I've read the Quran. Okay, so my point is, yeah, the Quran says certain things, mm. but the Hadith completely says it. Oh, um, and that's, that's my I was talking about the Tafsir, not the, the tafsir, Hadith. That's someone's opinion, though. No, the, the Tafsir was actually, if you look at Al-Hazar Al Al University, um, one of the scholars there was saying that the Tafsirs were made to explain what is not understood mm. in the Quran. See, that's... Uh, that's that in my opinion the concept in, in that in my opinion I don't need someone else to tell me what it says. I have my own brain that God gave to me. That's good, I like that. Because God <laughs> says God actually in the Quran says he mentions more times do people not think than do people not believe. But it also God says wants, don't question, doesn't no, it? Yes, good yes. Yes. Does it Allah say that? I, this, this is yeah, a sad where, thing where? because I wasn't prepared for this. Yeah, so I don't have all there the. There is verses, a verse that says that, that you're not allowed to. Yeah. I'm not sure. You shouldn't question what you don't understand. Yeah, I think that's about the, God. Yeah. That's okay. about God. Okay. 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 So it's in the the, the 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 chapter of the prophets. Okay, chapter of the prophets. Um, I think out. there's. What, uh, the, I'm not 100 percent sure. Mm. This is along the lines of just be comfortable with your 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 yeah, your rhetoric. Yeah, understanding. Yeah. Yeah. God says more times. God says more times. Do people not think rather than do people not believe? God doesn't want us just to blind believe. From the Quran, it's not blind believe. You join the religion and no, that's it. No, it's not like that. God wants you to question and think. Do people not reason? Do people not question? You see that so many times when you read the Quran. If you have read it. Do people not reason? Do people not question? Do people not reason? All of this is God giving us a very big image for us. I like what you said. You said, do we not read? our forefathers, etc. Okay. God also Can I just take you back on this word before? You said, do you not read or do you not question like you're saying? Okay, I did read part of the Quran and I did question part of it mm. because it didn't make... Um, it says that if the, the book was full of um, 
a number of contradictions. Would you not question if it's not from God? Yeah. I found a lot of contradictions yeah. that I, I found that I had to question. So what, by questioning that, what would you say? Am I doing... Because they... Depends, in my opinion, it depends what you're questioning. Because you might be questioning a religion. Okay, I question so, in the flat earth. It, when the Quran says that the earth is spread out like a carpet. Yeah. Now, I cannot believe a carpet goes around yeah. something I'll, over. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go with you. Now. Okay, okay. But says with. he built it as a bina. Bina means a construction. But God built this earth as a construction. How can a construction be wrong? So now, you don't agree with the Tashir, but the Tashir goes into a better explanation saying mm. that there's seven earths, flat mm. earths, and seven heavens. Yeah. So now, if like your interpretation has come from what you believe with yeah. the brain that Allah has given I'm, you. I know but my interpretation comes from a scholar because I'm not a Muslim. Okay. So I have to look at the tafsir of Ibn Kathir to get an understanding. So my understanding comes from someone that's an acclaimed scholar of Sunni Islam. Well, your understanding comes from your faith or belief. My, my understanding of what this 50 tells me. That's what it is. Because when, when you mentioned seven heavens, I know that God, God has mentioned seven heavens above us. I'm not sure about seven heavens. Uh, seven heavens and seven uh, uh, that's earths. Straight, you know, yeah, yes. that's in, I, I, in level. I wish you brought that printed script because it has. I the, do have that script. Okay, okay. Yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So we, I we, see we that. Can bring it. Yeah. Great. But yeah, no, I agree with the fact that you mentioned seven heavens. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Mentions it in the Quran as well. Yeah. So I'm not. Is it oh no, no, it's not this one. No. Oh no, that's what you gave oh, me to. Oh no, that was. That's what I have for you. Nothing else. Oh. No, that's what I gave you from weeks ago. That's what I have for you. Oh, sorry, sorry. It was the other one. No, it was. It was just a thing that will cause uh, animosity yeah, yeah, yeah. in the dialogue. No, of it's just to get an understanding. No, it's not is, like a counter argument where right this you're right. Called, actually, Sam Gerrans yeah. okay. from YouTube. That's why I've understood. He okay. actually looks at the Quran for his, himself. Okay. He's he's in English yeah. and he's translated the Quran for himself fully. And he's studied his whole life around the Quran. So Sam Gerrans. So that's who I looked up for. And he actually speaks loads of sense. Yes, first time looking at him, a, non, a Muslim himself might think this guy is not. But he's questioning. That's something that Muslims don't do. Muslims don't question. No, they agree. Just, they they just jump into a religion. Like if, if I, I've been through some stuff in my life that really hit me good, hard in a sense, not good but hard, that I had started looking, questioning. Because God wants us to question. When I go to questioning, like, what you mean? Your faith or faith? Right. Okay. Around you, okay, right. your people, your fathers. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? And that's what I've, I ended up doing, and I've concluded. Sorry, I've right. concluded to certain things that um, contradict, goes against the traditional Muslim. Okay. Understanding. Okay. And I, I don't want to blind follow because at the end of the day, no, right, the Quran clearly says as well. On the day of the judgment, there's no, there's no, he, he said this to yeah, me, right. or this, that, from my understanding. You're going to stand in front of God and you're going to answer to what he did. If you follow these individuals behind you, they're going to, they're going to separate. I'd like to ask you one critical yeah. question. And this is um, something that might come as shock to you. Okay. Um, but it's a, it's a very important Quranic verse with a hadith. And it's a Sahih al-Bukhari okay, one, the, 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 one okay. two five. From now, just before you start, yes. hadith I don't take for yeah? well, so, okay, it. I know, I know, I know. But th yeah. this actually highlighted in this hadith is the Quran. The Quran. So mm. this is why I always bring out this hadith. Yeah. Gabriel did not come to the Prophet for some time, and this is bracket yeah. for some time. And so one of the Quraysh women said, "His Satan has deserted him." So came the divine revelation, and this is the Quranic verse: "By the forenoon and by the night." When it is still, your Lord, O Muhammad, has neither forsaken you or nor hated you. So we find that very, very um, damning. Like, how would you critique this as a Muslim that believes in the Quran? But this hadith is associated to the Quran. See, the once I know you said you don't. Yeah, yeah. once the hadith is associated to the Quran, I don't have to take it as authority. Okay, you well. wouldn't take it. Because most of the time, it can actually deviate away from what the scripture says. So what? what I'll, I'll show you the link. But what I wanted to go to uh, later on, and, and it's just to, I was again called and I looked. This is the Hadith um, Sahih Muslim 161D. I was again called and looked. This is when Muhammad first got the revelation from um, Gabriel. So I'll start again. I was then again called and I looked, but saw nothing. I was called again and raised my head. And there on the throne in an open atmosphere, he, that is Gabriel, peace be upon him, was sitting. I began to tremble 
on account of fear. I came to Khadija and said, wrap me up. They wrapped me up and threw water on me. So this is Gabriel sitting on the throne. And this hadith correlates with this um, hadith Quranic verse. But however, do you have a Quran on you? No. If you look at Quran 53, yeah. verses 1 to uh, 21, which goes into the satanic verses, mm -hmm. it's Muhammad talking about his Lord. And these are all constructive. So this is why I said that when uh, I talk with Muslim brothers I, and the things that I read in the Quran that I didn't understand and I questioned, I, I'm not expecting an answer from you, but I questioned all these things and I linked up the Quranic verses with the Hadith. And there's no ever, denial. I never questioned uh, the Quran for what it is itself with that Hadith. Uh, well, I, the first, I read the Quran in a day, but I'll, I'll be honest, my interpretation of the Quran was different because I read all the apocryphal books and all the occult books. So when I read the Quran, it made more sense because I saw a lot of things from magic books. Okay. I saw a lot of things from the um, ancient, um, like the Book of Barnabas and the, the Pseudo Gospel of Thomas, like the making of the bird. So when I saw these stories, I said, wow, oh, this has the story. So my conclusion in, a, in less than um, an hour was that this book was fabricated from old agnostic gospel. It was not, yeah. No, what it was is it's a Gnostic Gospels with the occult books and ancient knowledge. That is how I saw it. Um, Sabian knowledge, because there's things that come from other Zoroastrianism. Um, so when I read the Quran, I didn't see it as an authentic book, because I read those books beforehand. So it gave me an understanding of where the stories came from. But now talking to someone like you that hasn't read the Gnostic books, I, yeah, that is what I'm trying to... I'm not trying here to trip up or say, oh, I'm on the right path. No, I'm trying to get an understanding of what you believe in. And so I can come on to your level and you know try and see the Quran from your perspective. That is what I'm here to do. But I just showed you these things that I questioned that didn't make sense okay, to but me. Then have, you, have you ever just tried to neglect the hadith itself and question the Quran well, from the hadith itself? Well, like I said, when but I went this, what you brought sure. to me for example, you brought one verse. This so is the Quran. The, the highlighted in green is the Quran. Yeah, so you brought so this verse, but based on this whole sentence, uh, paragraph of narration. Oh, yes. Have you ever tried to look for the erasure rate and well, look that, for the Quran Yes, itself? and that's why yes, I went to Quran 53 and I was wondering if anyone has the Quran here. Uh, Quran 53 verses 1 to 21 if I'm right. The one that reads to the satanic verses. If you start from the beginning, it's uh, Muhammad's talking to his Lord or the Lord. Yes. By the star as it descends, your companion Muhammad has not strayed, nor has he creed. Um, nor does he speak of his own inclination. It is but a revelation revised, and this is all tied to this. Talk to him by, the one in by one in intense strength. And they said, one of soundness that he rose his true form, continue. While he was higher part of the horizon, because Gabriel, and this is what I said, he called Again, the Lord as Gabriel. Actually, Keep I'm going on, sir. Keep I'm going on. Yeah, I fully understand. Yeah. And yeah. was at a distance between two bar lengths or nearer, which was Gabriel on the horizon, and revealed to his servant, so this is now um, Muhammad being called the servant of Gabriel. But again, yeah. that's the understanding from that, the narration. Well, how would, like it, a, how, how would if you hear from this? If we go on, it goes on. It goes on. How would you understand it? The, that is from God's understanding. Then he approached and descended. So did Allah descend or was it Gabriel that descended? And was at the distance of two bar lengths. This is the point I'm making, sir. Yeah, I know. I, I really studied it. I've, I've heard this as well. That and he was revealed to his servant back, yeah. what he revealed reveals the heart did not be, lie what it saw so will you dispute with him over what he was so, and he certainly was hit with him in another descent mm. so Allah did not descend from his throne we know this much so it's Gabriel his Lord is talking and the low tree of which the utmost boundary near it is the garden of refuge when there was covered the low tree that was covered it, the site of the prophet did not swerve and it did not transgress its limits. It, he certainly saw of the greater signs of his Lord. You hear the Lord again. So have you considered Alat and Al Uzza? Mm. And then it goes in. Like like I said, I'm a very critical thinker and I've read so a lot this, of in this chapter as well, I've never really managed to dive, to dive into it. But I've dived but, into it losing Hadith but, and you know, but, so this is my knowledge. But can I yeah. can I not just so, dive into what I understand for myself? Yeah. I've not I've looked at I've read it before, I can agree, but I've not really studied study it. You know, there's certain certain chapters, certain verses where you can really dive into it and you understand it straight away. Yeah. Okay, so if we, if we just look at the Quran by itself, it doesn't take away any problems. I mean, I actually agree personally. I'm just saying what Muslims do in a whole. 
actually agree that it should just be the Quran and it's on because it, that, that's what's being said is the actual word of God. But if you actually just look at the Quran itself within the 140 verses, that doesn't resolve any problems. There's actually even more problems in regards to the nature of God, the attributes of God, and the whole issue about these scriptures having come to confirm the previous scriptures which don't exist. I'm saying if you just look at the one part of it, they have been. Well, it's yeah, problematic but because the Quran says that uh, yeah. Arab words cannot be changed. Yes, yeah. no, we were talking about this yeah, earlier. About the book itself. Like, oh, the Quran, not the other book. Yeah. Well, the, the actual word is there, but they've been manipulated over it. So that's my opinion as well. In fact, I don't believe Jesus actually said anything about the Trinity. It's just a later development. No, it's not about the Trinity. It's about the whole of the scriptures that, are, that the Quran has said. Look, the Muslims right now are saying that the previous scriptures that was once God's words don't exist. They know it. You know, we can't find them. They're lost. The Quran, that's an issue. The Quran doesn't say this. It couldn't be going on and on and on about some scriptures that no longer exist. So it's obvious that about, it's about, obvious about, at the just, first of all, it's obvious at the time of Muhammad they existed. And then we have to find the gap in this. Because if, if, at, the, at the point when the Quran is being revealed, they obviously existed then. And that's why it keeps referring to them. So if Muslims are saying they're lost, at what point in the interim from then until now have they been lost? I think it's at the time of uh, Jesus. Himself. But, we're, but there's a verse in the Quran yeah. as well where, you know, because there's a, the whole difference is as well. You know exactly the Quranic perspective of what happened to Jesus. And, yeah, yeah. You it understand it, yeah? Yeah, he's yeah, 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 so yeah, so one five seven. For what yeah. My scripture tells me, as I believe it's God's scripture, God actually mentioned as well the people at the time with Jesus started. Um, covering truth about him, disbelieving in actions, what he stood for. That's the reason God took him away from him. Yeah, that's, yeah. sorry, you, know, we, we, you don't want to get the rowdy crowd. <laughs> no, thank you very much for your for your attention. Because we want we want to gain understanding. Thank you very much for really participating. So my my understanding goes. The reason God took them away is because people at the time started doing things wrong. Well, before you know, maybe at the time straight away they started calling on God because he'd done such miracles, etc. But obviously, my understanding of my scripture. But the Quran doesn't give you that explanation, yeah, it does it? That's what you God. had to use your yeah, own intuition. It, it, it only gives you sense. Surah 4157. It says that they, it they killed the children. That they, you know, it basically says that the Jews are boasting, saying, We killed the Messiah, the son of Mary, yeah. but they killed him not, now they did they crucify him. Yeah. That's the one verse. You don't, they know. Yeah, I know, but there's can I ask well. you then? Is there anything else that explains that Surah 157? Because I've found nothing that even tries right. to explain it. Because the thing is, you know yeah. the Quran, yeah? Yeah. You see, you find different stories in over different chapters. Mm. For example, the story of Moses, yeah, you'll find it in every single chapter for you. Not necessarily every chapter, mm. but most chapters. You, you hear a little bit of there, a little bit of there, and then out of that you can derive a whole story from it. Yeah, sure. And just like the mentions of Jesus, Jesus is not just mentioned in one particular the one you just mentioned. But regarding the, him not dying, that's the only verse. Unless yeah, I missed something verse, in the Quran, then, it's nothing else. Not to I do with the okay, I've got the verse for you, yeah. sir. So, yeah. so that you, you're aware of... Because um, I'm just generally trying to say, is there, is there any more information? It's only that, one verse in the Quran. Yeah, and four, it's one, five, Quran 4157. Yeah. And, and for their saying, indeed we have killed the Messiah Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But another was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him for certain. I think this is the Sahih International Translation. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that is what the Quran says. It doesn't yeah, have no, anything more. Yeah. Yeah. Because only the tafsirs might go in or the hadith. Yeah. But, but it doesn't explain. No, you but know. then again, if you go, if you search for yourself, Surah al Ma'ad, yeah? I don't know what number, it's probably six. Five, seven, around there, yeah. That's it. No, no, the, uh, no, the, the Surah. The Surah. 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 It's called the Spread Table. I don't know if you know the English. Oh, no, the Spread Table. That's, what That's a chapter called the Table. Yes, yeah, Spread yeah. Table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And towards the end, it mentions about Jesus. Uh -huh. I'm not, I can't yeah, sure. give you reference towards the end of that chapter. Mentions, okay. But towards the end, there's mentions as well. Okay, I'm going to look. Mm -hmm. And. But well, not the crucifixion. But no, 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 no
you have the crucifixion oh, no, I'm not, sorry let's not get this mucked up I know that there's you know chapter 9 I'm not talking yeah. about Jesus being spoken about mm. chapter 19 is all about oh, Mary it's talks about Jesus a lot. Well. I just, in the yeah, yeah. I'm not talking well. about Jesus being mentioned it talks about him speaking from the cradle it talks about him saying on judgment day he didn't say what the Christian said yeah, yeah. I just mean specifically to do with the crucifixion mm. it only said that they didn't kill him for certain and those who are saying otherwise they're in conjuncture there's nothing else anywhere else that, you know that confirms that in any way yeah, I just mean that verse and I'm just thinking that's a bit suspicious because that's where the whole that's basically where everything hangs that's where you hang and that's where I hang oh, yeah, that's because where my faith yeah my yeah, faith yeah. is based on that and yours are based on that and also because it's really concerning actually because the Quran says that it explains everything in detail in about 4 or 42 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, missing, well, it's missing a lot of detail but there is where you can't afford to miss any detail because that's where we hang would between you, the would you consider all those other narrations about Jesus like you said for example you just mentioned yeah would you not consider that as part of the detail of not to do Jesus. with the crucifixion no, no but, because it's only talking about him that he spoke from the, it's, it's basically saying that he did certain miracles it talks about he speaks from the grave and that god again the ability to raise the dead and he also said talks about you know when god is going to ask him in the judgment final hour did you tell the people to worship in this way he said no but none of those are on the crucifixion itself well, as to whether or not he died that, because then from the chronic perspective it was it's trying to actually you, because, like I mentioned earlier, mm. God wants us to use our brains. Mm. So, from, from that perspective, I don't believe in the whole um, Jesus crucifixion there. Because it, even before when I was young, I never considered it because I've not well, been I'll around. Ask you a question. You said you don't believe in the Jesus crucifixion. Huh? I want to pick you on one point because whatever we discuss, the gospel has to come yes. in to be preached. Yes. So, we're just going to mention this yes. point. Why don't you believe in a crucifixion? Mm. I'm not really looking into it. Right. But, so right. Uh, the reason because, but again, it doesn't really make sense to me. The fact okay, that, yes, the whole Trinity and the Trinity is probably explained, and that's well, the reason you believe in it. No, but let's forget about the Trinity first. Yeah, no, but just the crucifixion, yeah, just that the little point, no, okay. to make it easier, yeah. so the flight is all. Why don't you believe in the crucifixion? I only came recently to understanding that. Okay. Um, obviously, when I was growing up, Mm. I had Christians around me. Have you ever read any <laughs> biblical passages on the Trinity? I mean, no, on no, the crucifixion? No, no. Have you read Josephus, like the people that no, historians no, of the honest, time? No, so is it fair to say that, and correct me if I'm wrong, is it, is it fair to say that you just don't believe it because your Quran says it doesn't, and that's what you always took on board? Because the Quran, from, 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 from a Muslim yeah, perspective, from, and how you've been brought up. My in understanding it, from the Quran, yeah. the Quran is, for me, it's amazing. Right. It literally brings peace to me whenever I listen to it. Um, how can I say this? It's just like the way it's preserved, like God mentioned, He has preserved it. It's preserved through its. You have heard the recitations of the Quran, so I'm pretty sure you have. I have heard, yeah. 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 I, have. I don't know whether you can agree to it that you, it sounds humbling, nice. Well, it's, and it's rhythmatic. It you mean it's like, rhythmatic yeah. and I understand what yeah, you're so saying. That is God's <laughs> preservation preservation on how he is preserved the Quran itself. lots of people make those claims the Christian yeah, so makes that claim Buddhists can make that claim yeah, fair that, 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 that yeah, for this you know that does you know, yeah chance. as in uh, it makes me feel tranquil and it's yeah, rhythmatic no. and it's symmetrical yeah, etc well, yeah. sing but, hymns if you've uh, yeah. Ah, hallelujah yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you know that yeah. song is very yeah. powerful the Mormon choir yeah when they do it it's no, really again, a hair range and stuff. what we spoke about earlier before yeah. the camera mm. is about um, how God could potentially just wipe our sins regardless but then you refer to we need a crucifixion. You need blood. Blood. The scripture talks about blood. Blood, blood See, sacrifice. That's, that, that's yes. the issue. To me, that just when we spoke earlier, mm. I didn't really. It didn't but, resonate with you. I understand that, and I know. It, yeah, why? 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 My opinion: God is doesn't need blood. God is all powerful. He doesn't need someone to die here, and then he, you'll be clean. My opinion. No, that's fine. That's fine. Can I just God ask you yeah. one critical just question? Like how powerful yeah. Is. Yeah. If he willed, he can get rid of all of us right now and replace us with new people. That's of course, how the he, of course he can do that. Of course, yeah. of course well, he can do that. it with a fingertip. I, I, get what I, I agree with your yeah. analysis yeah. on that. Yeah. In on terms that, of God can that, just yeah. do it. So why can't you? Right. Okay. So the why is important? Answer in the why. Or I will leave. No, you're going to do the answer. Just one more critical question. Like on the crucifixion. I just wanted to table this out because it's important that we understand our Muslim audience. Mm. Uh, when we do this and so oh, yes and you don't have any reading of oh. the crucifixion no you have not looked at the historical narrative of the crucifixion mm. and you have not read the biblical account mm. of it, mm. but you've come to your opinion yeah. based, based on the Quran mm. that's yeah. a, I just wanted to yeah. clarify right. that point yeah. so yeah. he can give you well the, I, I already did 
to tell you the truth, but I'm, I'm just trying to say, I'm trying to look at the nature of God because when I said to you, because I'm agreeing with you kind of in principle that God can just, you know, he doesn't need to do anything. But then you've got to ask some quick questions about the nature of God. I can say likewise that God doesn't need to, um, um, God didn't need to send Muhammad, for example. Why didn't he need a last prophet? God didn't need to send any prophets, we can say. Mm -hmm. But yet we wouldn't have a picture. We could just say God didn't need to send another prophet. God himself, who is the creator of the heavens and earth, could just do everything himself. Why does he need to send angels? He can go to that level. Why does he need to send prophets? Why can't he just call people to himself the way he wants to? But if you take that and pick, you could have an empty religion or an empty saint. There's, when you start to ask why on that level, there's specific, specific, there's yeah. specific ways how God does it. Right. No. That's, 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 Are you sure you can speak for God, sir? Okay. No, God, if you no, want no, to, no. you can make two sir. My, underst yeah. my understanding, yeah. 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 Again, I always speak for my understanding. Yeah, I, I, like can't, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. tell you No, I just wanted to clarify because, because might be, some people will... This yeah, going on YouTube, there yeah, might so be some people that... What it is, sir, is that someone might go against you and say, oh, you're talking, so I want you to elaborate. This is your opinion. Yeah, yeah. So that you don't go against... Somebody say, oh, it's not a true Muslim. Yeah, You'd be right. very surprised yeah. by the audience. Oh, no, absolutely. Crowd absolutely. On yeah, that. absolutely. And they'll use that. It can be very ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. So it's for your own good that, you know, you say. That's the reason why you're my understanding. I've been yeah. listening to videos, I've read certain passages in the Quran, mm -hmm. and that's why I get my understanding. I tend to want to look more at the Quran for what it is, mm -hmm. but sometimes other stuff can clarify for me. And that's why I'm. My understanding of the, the way of what God is, is I don't understand. God is, uh, how would I say this? God's, God's characteristics mm. are specific. If he goes outside of the characteristics of this, that wouldn't make him God anymore, in my opinion. Mm. So when he is the creator of man and woman amongst us, mm. he doesn't need to go to that level just to save us from sin. And at what? that point, can I ask you a question, just for clarification again? <coughs> and a, 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 a genuine question, answer how you want. Do you really think that we're talking about the same God as the Christian and Muslim? Because the, the problem okay. here is when we start to... And it's just a just genuine question. I, I don't want you to answer... Yeah. I don't seven, want you to nine. answer in any particular way. I want you to answer however you want. Okay. But I, it's a genuine question. Do you really think... Because I think this is where the crux is. That, Do you really issue. think we're talking about the same God? Because no, this is where we get the crux. that's the issue. Like, when we want to speak... When we want to, yeah. I want to answer this question. Mm. I want to say yes. Yeah. But the issue is, we have the right to different conclusions of, of who God is. Of course. But the only true way of understanding is who was the God of Jesus? Right. Who was he praying? To? Okay. And that's my God practically. Right? Okay. The, the, just like Abraham, who was Abraham <coughs> calling? To? Who was Moses calling? To? Who was all the previous Noah, etc.? Who were they calling? To? They, they were, God oh, actually called them. Uh, no, he means who were they praying to? I think oh, when they were yeah, praying. Mm. As in mm. praying. To, yeah. When they needed help, etc. Guidance. Mm. They, they called to the Creator of the heavens and the earth. And that's, I believe, the, the, the God of the Quran. Okay. That's what it claims, like, every time. Like, so God let me ask again, because I'm, I'm trying to press you a bit. So would you same, say that... It's that the same God that was from the beginning of Adam till now. Okay, so is it the same God in the Bible, to be correct? The, the God no, that you are saying, is it the same the Bible, God? You know? My understanding, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. the Bible has been inserted, my understanding, inserted certain things okay. to mislead away but from where did okay. you get that okay. No, that's fine. No, no, one second. One second. Okay, sorry, sorry. No, one second. Yeah. No, that's fine. I'll get you in a while. But that still doesn't, I'm still trying to say, even if that's the case, that Christian straight, that wouldn't take it away, that wouldn't take away from it being the same God. If it's the same God, it would just mean that they strayed from that true God. That wouldn't change the God. What I'm trying to establish no, is, I can't, I can't the, God in the, the, the God has revealed himself in the Quran, do you think that's the same God that's revealed himself in the Bible? When you read stories God's of the Quran God, and God... Yeah. The Injil, the, we have yeah. some... God, the, the Gospel, the good news is the Injil. Yeah. I believe the Injil that was given to Jesus is not really the same Injil that you see today. Where is the Injil that you're referring to today? It, the one you're referring it has to? carried on yeah. over time with the people. Where is it today though? I don't know. It's probably, for all you know, it's still partially here, but it's been very... Up okay, so this is my key. This is and my that's key. Why okay, we derive certain right. Christians would derive the fact Trinity, and they have other Christians maybe they don't believe in Trinity. Okay, no, no. Unitarians, that's what Unitarians, okay. So, do you or some okay. of them believe in the Ten Commandments only? Okay, I get you. No, Let me ask, uh, I'm not, I so heard of that's right. One of the things, um, you have a misunderstanding of what a Christian means, mm. and it's important because you, we're learning from you yeah. so that you learn something from us. Yeah. A Christian is somebody that's born again, that's declared Jesus Christ as Lord, and uh, you know, and we believe that Christ's death on the cross mm. is what pays for our sins. 
and it's only by salvation by Jesus Christ that we can get to heaven and this is why we reinforce that message of the crucifixion and Islam goes against that message and we and this is why he asked you that critical question whether you think we worship the same God because we believe that if we follow Allah's way you end up in eternal damnation and that is why we're but you haven't I'm got to uh, understand it. I'm talking from about from our perspective. Okay. We're not trying to enforce our, okay, our doctrine yeah. on you. It's for you to understand where our differences yes. lie yes. in the route to salvation. You believe in the five pillars, if I'm correct. Prayer, zakat, or whatever. You don't really, you don't really so, okay, you don't. The Quran. Well, well, there you go. Your Quran but you believe the Quran is the, the word of God. Yeah. You believe the Quran is the so word of God. So when there's mentions of, for example, mm. prayers, akam and salat, that is a duty upon mankind. Mm. Remembering God, that's yeah. how I see it. Yeah. This, is a, this is a duty for mankind. Yeah. Remember God every day. Be grateful for every, whatever you've got. Want that guidance that you want, that we all seek. Uh. This, is, this is all like sure. our duty, yeah. I would say. Yeah. It's yeah. our duty sure. to be as like Muslims. So, yeah. so again, because I, uh, see, from, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, so if I can ask you again, do you, um, do you think that history matters in terms of evidence outside of, uh, uh, like for example, your position is that the Quran is the word of God? Yeah, it's the eternal word of God, whether it's God's very word. But do you think history evidence outside of itself matters? For example, yeah. that key verse being Surah 157. History can if, change if, stuff. Right, so if, if, there's no, if there's no evidence for that verse, Surah 157, outside of itself, do you, does that matter or not matter to you? If there's no evidence outside no, of the Quran I, for that verse, about Jesus would, crucifixion? Yeah, would it matter or not matter to you? Because I'm saying outside of the Quran no, and the Bible. because, right. again, I will speak for my behalf. It makes yeah. The fact that I worship God alone in my way, how I do it, mm. and I don't need someone else to, you know, help me. I believe when God is the ultimate power over us, I, I, that's sufficient for me. Like, okay. I don't really believe I need an individual for me to save me. Right? Okay. So to be clear, you don't think you need any evidence outside of Surah One Five Four One Five Seven for for it, for that statement. You don't. That that will do. That is that that You don't. No, need, sorry, the Surah where he says that they thought they killed the Messiah, yeah, but yeah, they, they killed him not. I'm trying to ask. Do you, do you not need any evidence outside of that? Are you just satisfied that the Quran says that and you believe it? I'm just trying to establish. Will that do for you? You don't need to look. You don't need there. anything else. That's yeah. enough evidence. Yeah. To give yeah. You your right. Quran is my criteria. I, okay. So the the uh, gospel that Jesus had. Uh, I mean, can you give your words on it? That you feel this corrupted. I don't want to put words. Yeah, yeah. From my perspective, this is how I've seen certain, uh, seen videos and that aspect and yeah. certain understandings of mine, how I've derived to where from. Like I mentioned, the injil that was given to you, uh, the good news that was given to Jesus, that was certainly given to you, no doubt. Because God gets scripture. Hold on, sir. Let, let him just... No, give it let, to him. Let, but let just him. Like how, I don't know how God gave it to him, whether a revelation yeah, sure. or speaking directly mm. to him, just mm. like how Moses spoke to God. This is all different methods of how God communicates. That's God's communication. I can't say how he does it. Can I, can I refer to some scripture to answer your question and why we disagree with you Muslims on this? Just so you understand. And this is the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, and I'll read from verse 16. Mm. And this is Jesus. And he, uh, no, verse 15, sorry. And he taught in their synagogue, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to, for, to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captive and recovery to the sight of the blind and to set liberty to them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and all the eyes of them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him and he and this is verse 21 and he began to say unto them this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears so Jesus was actually taking the book of Isaiah and reading it and saying this is the testimony of me of the prophecy. So we have this scripture. So who is I can, well, that is Jesus. The words in red in this Bible are actually were the words of Jesus himself. And this is why I wanted to... I'll give you a Bible. 
No, that's fine, that's fine. No, they just take it. Yeah. That's a new King James. It will be easier to read. But um, what it is is that um, I don't want to get you into too much Bible language yeah. because you don't have a basis. Yeah, yeah so that, yeah. that's my issue as well. For yeah. example, I'm firm in what the. But word um, of the no, it's fine. We're just trying to. But the things he's saying about Isaiah. Hey, it's it's the, the book of Isaiah, chapter 53. And from verse 4, it talks about Christ's passion foretold. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we're esteemed and stricken, smitten of God, and affliction. But he was wounded for our transgressions and bruised. So this is Isaiah talking about the crucifixion. Mm -hmm. This is a prophecy of Jesus. And, and, and if we go into the book of Revelations, it actually says Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. I don't want to give you too much biblical yeah, so knowledge I, because okay, but what I'm, we're saying fine. is that I'm, I'm learning as well. If we don't, I, if we, I don't mind understanding more from mm. other, yeah, sure, especially. Yeah, sure. It's just for you to have a, like, a basis of what we believe. We believe yeah. that Jesus is actually fulfilling prophecy, and he was prophesied, and he was prophesied by great prophets like Isaiah, like yes. Moses. Yeah, yeah, There's another verse. Then, then I would, I would say the, 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 the whole issue is between the Muslims and the Christians. Is the, the, the main conclusion is. Wait, the main point is the fact that Muslims claim that the Bible's actually been changed, right? Well, do you know who That's actually made that claim? I can give you, I'll have to load it up from my laptop. It wasn't actually anyone from the Quran. It was a Muslim born in 1065 who actually read the Bible and saw it totally contradicted the Quran. Who is this? Um, I can get him if you give me a chance uh, to go, uh, I have to go into no, no, so if you want to is, see it. It's, 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 it's just a confirmation of the previous script. It's not, unfortunately, uh, so. It may have started here though, but he would have gotten that from the Quran, that 1065 guy. Uh, I'll like the Quran. to quote him in yeah, actual sure. verbatim. Yeah. So just continue your dialogue and I'll find you the evidence. Yeah, like, and like, like what I'm saying, I think the fact is what I've been understanding from the Quran and from what I know, that the previous scriptures, mm. I don't know whether they weren't preserved as they were, or things change over time. Like from the Quran of the story as well, when Moses here in the Surah Tal Baqarah, the second chapter, the whole incident of Moses when Moses left for 40 days, God gave them 30 days or 40 days. Mm. Mm. And yeah. they started worshiping the cow, I think. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So you see that straight away after Moses saved the, the Israelites, straight away they this this they just disobeyed God straight mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. This is our nature. We tend to disobey God without whether we know it or we don't. We are we are this is we are designed by this. That's true. That's, the sin that, that's called us. sin. That's called original yeah, sin, which is London Eyes. Mm. We are. That's why scriptures always go corrupt. Moses came. They started worshiping the Calvin Temple. Whether it's a temporary period, or but then not. that's a bit different from whether or not scripture as it's finally been revealed. Individuals, like in that yeah, story, it's right. different from whether the, with the scriptures when they've actually come to text being corrupted. You see what I mean? Mm. If most, you know, if the people of Abraham's time, for example, started worshiping the golden calf, which is idolatry, mm. that's actually different. You can't use that necessarily to say that when scripture no, so ended I'm, up being I'm written down. To say it, to you, yeah. Whenever a messenger came yeah. of God and he saved certain people or yeah. he showed revelation to certain people, after a certain time, people start making their own desires up. Can I? They desired to worship the golden calf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They did. Until Moses came back, I think, and told them, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. you know, why are you not doing yeah, this? Yeah. And, and just like how the Quran claims, there's no difference between all the messages. All the messages went through this. So then how do we know? How would we even, know? Even the Quran as well, there's... Um, Can I just go into what you were talking before? There's one verse that says, for every prophet we have assigned enemies of mankind and... Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. So this is, this is no, there's no difference. Every, Jesus had this, Moses had this, Noah had this. Unfortunately, Everyone. one of the Christian theology, we don't believe, they're called familiar spirits in the Christian. We do not believe believers have familiar spirits. Mm. Um, so we have to disagree. Jin, well, we believe that jinns come from the workers of iniquity, which is in one of the Psalms. Mm. But um, the Quran declares the Bible be, to be a true revelation from God. Yes. In Surah 2, at 40 to 42, uh, 1 to 6, uh, 71 to 72, mm. we can go into. But now I'll go into the historical. In 1064, Ibn Qazin first charged that the Bible had been corrupted. So this was in 1064, 1,000 years after yeah, the, the oldest manuscript yeah. yes, uh, was falsified. This charge was to defend Islam against Christianity because Ibn Qazin came upon differences and contradiction between the Bible and Quran. Believing by faith 
that the Quran was true, the Bible must then be fake. Yeah. So this was his own, um, um, what they call it, a theology. Yeah, yeah. It was not, you can check this up. This yeah, is right, yeah. very, I got this on the Encyclopedia of, Bible, of the Bible, um, the Lions Bible Encyclopedia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I got the reference from, okay. to know the history of church. Because um, we can only use. You know which date one that is? is it? You uh, know yes, which, uh, the date of the Lion Bible. In 1064. No, Ibn sorry, Kisir. the Lion Bible. Um, I think that you know Bible was. Uh, oh, I, I can't remember right. off head. Okay, but if you if yeah. you actually. Go we've got some. I'm doing. You know to keep updating this guy. His argument was not based on any evidence or historical fact, but only on his personal faith. So when you talk about your personal faith in the Quran, this mm. is why I mentioned. Yeah. Because you sound like somebody. I know you're seeking the Lord. Yeah. I, I believe that. Yeah. And, and you're a decent gentleman. Mm. The way you come across, and you okay. you've shared your intimate yes. belief. So and somebody learn. sharing his faith is a commendable act, regardless of what you believe mm. in, because it shows that you have and some respect for your brother. Yeah. Uh, but what we have to do is to, as Christian missionaries. We also have to tell you what we believe is the truth. We've heard your yeah, account yeah, and we've, we've verified it with the Quranic. But this man was the one that first came up with this charge. And he's not, uh, he was not no one from Muhammad because the Quran itself says the Bible hasn't been falsified. But really, he, it took really? a very long time, four centuries later. And you can check his name if you want to screen grab it yeah, for yourself. Um, bear with me. Yeah, uh, this is important. His name is Ibn Kathir. Kazim, K-H-A-Z-E-M. I don't really look into history like that as well because the issue is <coughs> even with the Muslim people, <coughs> the Hadith, all of this, that's the reason I don't believe it. Over history, things can change with the fingertips. So then if you... Okay, if, can I give you okay, another yeah. thing? I'll tell you the Islamic scholars that don't believe the Bible is corrupted. Mm. Ali yeah, al-Tabari, okay. who died in 855, accepted the Gospel text. Amir al-Ghazir, mm. uh, I hate... Bukhari also. In uh, Al-Bukhari. Yeah, so Al yeah, he so believes, that's the thing. he gathers some of the traditions. Whether it's corrupted he or said, changed, I don't know, but the fact is, God did give him the, the gospel. The and this is what, yes. So I don't can, disagree with that. Can I just say that. what right, Bukhari okay. said on this? Because he's a big yeah. scholar of Islam. I don't take him. I know, you don't agree. He gathered some of the earliest tradition of Islam, quoted the Quran itself, to support his belief in the text of the Bible. So don't in you accept any three, of your scholars? What scholars do you accept? So where, where did that, that doesn't leave you in much scope. You have to, you can't, you know, you can't okay, just stand on your own. Sorry? Who believe in the Quran itself? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's practical. I have, but, 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 but the, the, the Quranists who believe in the Quran itself, as in literally just the 114 surahs and nothing else, yeah, are in a true. minority. Yeah. Because even the heads of Mecca Me and that's, Medina, that's me. you know, so, okay, that's fine. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying you are in the minority, yeah, yeah, and you know, and, and I, I very, to, I mean, non-existent. Well <laughs> yeah, it's, it's non-existent, right? So do you think it's all right to just, I mean, because basically we, we you're, you're throwing your scholars under the bus. You're saying that all of them are just, no, you know, no, he's no, not the only one. Let's be fair. There's a number here. I know there are, but I mean, yeah, people tend to follow whoever so close is guided. If they believe this guy is guided. They will follow him. Right. But for all you know, he's not guided. And you follow someone who's not guided. But there's verses in the, there's verses in the Quran, 1035. You have to look in the But then how about the fact that, it, well, how about the fact that the, 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 the original compilers of the Quran had to go about and, get, and that, get bits of the Quran it, and put it together? I believe <laughs> it was when the prophet was there. Yeah. That's, that's when police. it came to exist. Yeah, no, I understand that. Because no, that's fine. No, I'm, just trying to no, I'm not taking it away from you. I'm just trying to put it against what, what, what there is out there. The reason why I've yeah. asked you a lot of so, these intriguing... This is one verse that I would, I would, it's 1035. But it says, say, are there of your partners any who guide to the truth? Say, say Allah guides, is that right? God guides to the truth, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, God guides to the truth. So he is who guides to the truth. So is he who guides to the truth more worthy to be followed or he who guides not unless he is guided? Then what is wrong, in brackets, with you? How do you so, judge? So, so, the, he's saying, so no. my point is, Jesus is, for example, for yeah. argument's sake, if Jesus is guided, is yeah. Jesus more worthy yeah. to be followed or God's guidance is more worthy to be followed? Well, that's one and the same um, thing. Can you really? go to Surah 812? Is, is that not one and the same thing? Because if God... No, no, not 812, sorry, no. If, then, if God himself guided Jesus, then I can trust yeah, but absolutely then, that good I know, but yeah. then if Jesus is not with me anymore, Who's more worthy to be followed? Jesus is with us all the time. Oh yeah, that's a different well, concept. I understand. That. Well, no, no, but, but, that, 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 that's our concept. There's Muslims as well that say about the Muhammad or other than No, but Muhammad, we know Muhammad, Muhammad is dead. Well. Come on, we know yeah. Muhammad, even in Islam, yeah. we know Muhammad is dead. And, 
anyone who died is, is dead. Nobody but I mean, but Islam accepts Muhammad. that Muhammad is dead, though. They huh? do. Islam accepts that Muhammad is dead and in the yeah, grave. Yeah, yeah. There's, whereas, others, there's other believers that believe they, he can still hear you. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You're right yeah, about I'm, that. I'm, yeah. I understand. <laughs> you're right. About, yeah, you're right about that. Um, one moment, gentlemen, before yeah. we go. Do you think that's right, by the way? Um, right. So, you, you, am I on understanding? Right. No. One second. Says, so, at the beginning no of your prayer, don't you pray? At the beginning of the prayer, don't you pray? There's like this to send blessings upon the prophet. Yeah. Why would you, in my opinion, why would you need to have... So at the beginning of the prayers, you don't use that bit. That there's obvi even the Shahada, there's yeah. nowhere to be found in the Quran. Oh, right. Yeah, so I know why that. Why would you have to testify that the Prophet is the messenger of God? When, oh, you're, right. inside, when you're inside your heart, you already know yeah. the, the Prophet is the messenger. Why do you have to testify? Oh, yes, that's true. Before we move on, can I just... Um, one thing, this gentleman gave you a Bible. Yeah. And um, I know a lot of people don't have the attention span mm. to go through the whole book. It might be confusing. Yeah, no. But what we've marked... I've gone through it, but like... I, I, I think this can, will be enough for you. To read it, we took the first three epistles of John, mm. and this is Christianity in a nutshell. Um, so if you want to, this is not hard for you to read. I mean, this is just three pages. So I just marked them out, the first epistle in the green highlight, okay. for you to understand the Christian doctrine. So next time when we talk, when we talk about the Quran, mm -hmm. and you can might ask me some critical questions, okay. rather than us asking you all these yeah, critical no, questions. I, I like the fact that you have the New Testament. Show him the New Testament. No, that's easy. Yeah, that's, that's easy. easy. That's that's the one, that's yeah. the one you gave him. That's the one you gave him. So I just that's marked it out for you. Yeah, I like you the fact that you want to come in? You want to take a look? Sure. Especially now with the recorders. Sure. Yeah. 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 So, so sure. people understand yeah. actually, from my perspective as well as what you're trying to make you understand as well. What I see things, this is a very minority people and there's going to be, if there's going to be any Muslims watching this for instance, they might say this guy's not really a Muslim. Oh well, some people will judge you, that's the reality. I'm telling you, all of them are going to say this. But we're making it clear, we're not here to say that. The conversation we had stands on each other. We're here to understand yeah, yeah. about the Muslims. Yeah. No, I understand it. Yeah. yeah, they will do. They will do. Right. I, I, I know yeah. other, I know yeah. relatives, yes. friends. Yeah. Who Some of them are moody, yeah. But I mean, I want to establish that we're not here to make it look like you're not a real Muslim. No, no, no. no, no, no. If they deduce no, they, they that from I'm what they see. I'm actually trying to share what yeah. I understand, yeah. my understanding. Yes, well, we want to say this on purpose because some people might say, oh, these Christians are trying to put this guy in the wrong corner. And that is not what we're trying to do. I don't see it like that anyways. I know you don't. No, we just want to accept. We acknowledge that respect from you. But it's important that the audience hears it from yeah. both our mouths yeah, yeah, yeah. so that there's no one causing animosity yeah. because what we're having is a dialogue as gentlemen mm. between each other mm. I'm understanding you I don't agree with everything you're saying and you definitely don't agree with everything we're saying but we're at least coming to a recognition and that's what, that's and it's good because we learn. yeah. we learn some truth or yes that's right. you don't know whether it's true or not until it really if yeah. it resonates with you then that could be the truth yes because what's really important is that i always say because you know what's really important is that we understand where each other coming from because every time a muslim said that you believe in three gods and, and repeatedly keep saying it not you you're clearly showing that one you don't understand and if you keep repeating it you're refusing to understand you know you can't it's what they call a strong argument you can't keep attacking somebody on something that they're not saying okay, mean, yeah, yeah. you understand fully what they're saying and you agree with it and you attack it based on what actually, they're saying which you're not agreeing with I not actually, what you don't i want to actually mention one other thing because um like two three weeks Ago, and even Muhammad Hijab was the David Woods debate when they mentioned the word Salah. Yeah. You know, the, the prayers, yeah, Salah as in, pr as in pray so and bless. That, yeah. that itself, yeah, what it actually means, yeah, it means to follow up closely. Salah. If you go to the actual Arab dis dictionary, okay. the, what, what is the Arabic dictionary? You're talking about the salah as to what it means, pray itself, or bless. The word itself, yeah. Yeah. it means to follow up closely. Okay. That's where the word, word comes from. In what context does it mean that? For, so I would see it yeah. follow up closely to God's laws. Right. God's duty. That's why I mentioned duty before. God's communication. So when I communicate with God, I'm, whether I'm praying or not, there's a communication going on. Yeah. That's my duty and that's my following up closely with God. Yeah, sure. So, so this, this okay. word, yeah, when. I've heard the, the lady, I know, she got met two weeks, three weeks ago, she kept shouting, who's God praying to? Oh, oh Hatton, she was yeah. just there. <laughs> she, she, just, yeah, she, just, she, she isn't, God isn't really praying to anyone. God is saying, following up closely, the word. If you actually remember this word and try and apply it to the... So in the context where it says, where, did, where, the, where that the verse God where it says, Allah prays on pray, Muhammad. To it's to, they're following up closely with Muhammad. Oh, you okay. who believe, follow closely. I've and heard an Arabic speaker yeah. give a, but I would like you to open okay, the no, surah. Okay, no, you're saying that's what he says in that bit. That's way my understanding. Allah prays well. on Muhammad, you're saying it follows. He doesn't up. pray. No, yeah, when, no, but... All send blessings. He's following up closely okay, right. with the Prophet. Okay, right. Okay. You're saying scenario. the Quran is okay. a word of Allah. Have you read Surah 8119? 8119. This one? Yes. Okay, let's try and put a few verses before I was 
8119 is very, well, very sorry, 18. 8119. Sorry, 18. 81. 81. Okay. Mm. If you read 8119, it will make a lot more sense. Okay. That indeed the Quran is a word conveyed by a noble messenger. Okay. Okay. So if the Quran is a word by the noble messenger, if you look at the Sahih translations, okay. who was the messenger? Prophet. The, the prophet. So messenger isn't mess that surah saying that Muhammad is the messenger of the Quran? That is not oh. Allah's word. This is why I said What's that, that when you're saying your no, Quran just, just only, just like brother, I'm, I'm really... So 8119? Like, yeah, this is why you got to understand. No, I've read no, the not. Quran, I've studied it over a decade. Okay. I don't speak loosely with my words. Okay. I, I talk to people that they do critical thinking. Mm -hmm. And you're saying your Quran only following and the Quran is from Allah. But that surah alone what opens up a kind of world. Well, without the tafsir, you can't get any other uh, understanding what is the rather than the messenger. Okay. because. It, um, Muhammad is not the is the messenger. The so messenger, that means yeah. that the Quran is for Muhammad. That's so what I would get as a messenger for. Wait, brother, brother. Oh, no, just, no, no, just, no, no. just look how you um, yes. believe Jesus spoke the words of the Lord. You I believe Jesus is God. Yeah, okay, so, but no, he spoke so then come up for his argument yeah. if he has one. I mean, he became the word. Him. Or something, right? No, no, no. If you have a proper argument, you want to put it forward. Okay, so if you have a proper one, no, come and join us. When Jesus spoke, he spoke on behalf of God. Read that surah again. Okay. Sometimes it might. Okay, okay, it's, sure. it's, okay, very, it's hard for people to. You can read the Sahih translations and the other and Sahih. The Quran well, is a word conveyed, hmm? conveyed yeah. by, by a noble, noble messenger. messenger. messenger so it says yeah. the Quran is a word conveyed by a noble messenger. What's wrong with that? And that messenger is Muhammad. Yeah. So if the Quran is a word conveyed, but I'm saying read the Sahih international. But you know what they're going to the say? Other, they're going to say as in Allah revealed it and he conveyed it. That's what he was trying to explain, yeah. but I'm saying that's what that most Muslims would say. If you look so at what, Tafsir, what's wrong? What, okay, trying to tell me what's wrong with this. Because check, check the Sahih international translation. This is, this is the one. Okay, which is the one I've got? Yeah. How does it word in it? Yeah, it's I don't, worded I don't differently. Yeah. Okay, I've got it. Okay, this is the, it, I yeah. think this Sahih international. Is that, yeah, Sahih international actually has a very different yeah, that's translation. That's what I've got, but I don't have it. If you look at the other translation, I go on Quran X. Well, I'll get eleven translations. I can Arabic and the So what are you what are you saying? Are you saying Arabic? But okay, so what are you saying? Are you not agreeing that it says that? That, that 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 it makes it so to be what? say that Muhammad is the author. The, what I understand is indeed the Quran is a word by a noble mm. conveyed. Mm. The conveyed the brackets always changes yeah. change yeah. something. Yeah. Mm. When you listen to Arabic, yeah, that, mm. well, for example, the brackets are not there when right. you listen to okay. Arabic. Okay, can you do me a favor? Can you tell me what is that, is that the Arabic of it? That's the Arabic. I okay. can't. I can't oh right, because I, I, I want to ask what is that saying that that's not saying? Okay, so you can click on it. Indeed. Yeah. Okay. Surely a word. Of a messenger, noble. So that's ah, they, that's what I'm trying to say. What? That's it. No, the you, 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 you just confirmed that the Arabic no, is saying what it is. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. No, right. not but exactly what it, it's actually saying that the, it came what, from a noble the messenger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Quran. That's the point I'm yeah, making. It was that the Arabic. So if you are delivering a message to but someone, it doesn't don't say. Don't you think you're putting some words on it? I'm talking about the. You're trying to say that word for word. I'm saying word for word is different from the interpretation. My friend, we're not. Well, my friend, step forward. Step forward and tell us where we're. Wrong. Exactly. Step no, and tell us where we're my wrong. My understanding. Yeah. Look, <laughs> on, on, let me try and listen yeah, to Arabic. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't say but like the word of God. Yeah. No, but my understanding is. It doesn't. It says the noble. Look, you heard the yeah. word. When, yeah. when, when I'm a messenger of God, myself. when I'm a messenger of God mm. or prophet of God, something is given to me, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say for, I'm going to say here, the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. It's given to me to message it to other people. That's that's why it says indeed the Quran, the Quran, the recitation of the Quran. Can we it's do it word, word. word again? Yeah, Arabic, can we do that again? Like yeah, just, just, so to just do it. Yeah, so just to establish so, so that everybody sees. Yeah. 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 Uh, can you press the thing again? No, like press it. Press, press it how you did it again. Like, like, like just before. read it. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. It is surely a word of a messenger, noble. See the the word what is saying. So isn't that doesn't that match up with the English to be fair? Isn't that saying in the Arabic what doesn't the English portray properly correctly? There are certain translations that yeah. do change like that. I'm not saying this one okay, is the okay, one. Okay. There are translations sometimes like this. I can't remember one, but the Quran I, is saying it's a word right, of a yeah, noble messenger. Okay. Yeah, what's well, so what's so, so what, he's a messenger. But who is the messenger of Allah? Yeah, but who is the messenger of Allah? Yeah, but what's the messenger's job? Well, hold on, sir. Who is the messenger of Allah? I just asked a mm -hmm. simple question. Is the prophet? But what, there you go. What, what, what are you, so are you deriving from? No, it? what I'm trying to explain is that if I was going on the Quran on its on its default as the eternal word of God, it is saying that 
the Quran is a noble word of, uh, of Muhammad because the messenger is Muhammad. Mm. So mm. it's saying the Quran is a noble word of Muhammad. So this is why I say that when Muslims like, no, no, your understanding Again, is very really easy. I don't really look into practice. Brother. Let me see the English. English. He does say yeah. conveyed yeah. by. Yeah. Conveyed. By a noble master. What, but that? it's in brackets, the conveyed yeah. is in brackets. You're it's right. in brackets. So, so let's read it without the so brackets. Like my so, brother said, yeah, so I'm, can, I'm not trying to. No, 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 no. But what he did say, when you do our understandings or when I listen to stuff, you can't take anything out of context. Okay, can we For read sure. this? Can we read this to be fair? Can we read this without the brackets? Just as it yeah, was. Yeah, it says, like indeed, the Quran is a word and noble messenger. That's yeah. what it says without the brackets. So that is in brackets and um, and conveyed is in brackets. Without those, it says, indeed, the Quran is a word, a noble messenger. Yeah. That's what it's actually saying. And that noble yeah. messenger yeah. is Muhammad. So it says the Quran is the word of so Muhammad. Are we, do you think that is being, how we would interpret it. Do you think it? we're being fair? Do you, no, do, are, are do, we being do, unfair? Is that not, are we being unfair? I understand right, right, where you're coming from, but I have, I have an image of how I see it. No, we, sir. So when one, one something second. is being given I to the I can understand message, what you... Yeah. Before he has to deliver it and it comes from him. It's not coming from my neighbor that he made and Hold gave on, to sir. the... If I was not you, you have your relationship and understanding of your religion. And that's what you conveyed and that's what we've been listening to. And I understand that. I, I know how you see it. Jibril gave the revelation. I'm not an ignorant person. I understand that's yeah. how. But if I was someone that fell from Mars to Earth and I read that word for word verbatim and somebody told me, who, I asked them, who is that messenger? They'll say Muhammad. It just conveys simply that word is from Muhammad. And that's what I'm trying to say. And this is where the difference why someone like myself will look at a tafsir or look at the hadith to get a better understanding well, so what, because you know, we don't you know. Read the, uh, you read I've, the I've read the tafsir and the, uh, not, not necessarily, sorry, I, oh, I don't think remember? I read it. I, I, I learned that verse by chance okay. that somebody gave me that it said question this mm -hmm. and see what your rational logic will get from that. Mm -hmm. And my rational knowledge was that the Quran came from Muhammad. That's how I saw it. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, because I've looked at the translations, anytime I go on QuranX.com, mm -hmm. I take about, I think 15 translations of the Quran yeah, and I see the big <coughs> differentials. So one thing I've learned is that to get the Arabic interpretation and that's the only true logical, because even my Quran app says, unless you read it in Arabic, yeah. You're not going to get the true meaning. Yeah. So now I you, we've Arabic read it in Arabic I, and it said a totally different meaning yeah. to the brackets. Mm. That's all I wanted yeah, to I say. Agree. It's not. But, a, it, but you have but, an understanding from your well, faith. Yeah, yeah, but again, from an, mm. from an Arabic perspective, yeah. if someone who knows Arabic and understands it and speaks it, when you say certain things, it does come different to what is actually being said. If you want to translate, you understand that? Yeah, uh, certainly. Okay. certainly. Yeah, so certainly. when okay. something is translated, you might derive a certain message from it. But when you actually speak in Arabic, you can understand it different. Yeah. Obviously. So there's there's stuff like that around that. Have, so I'm not sure. I, let, what? 83? No. Let me not mind, but bogey you 81, on that. Yeah, yeah. Right, Was it 81? 81. Uh, 19. Better write it down, please. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, so yeah, I, 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 I don't forget it. Yeah. No, I remember. 81. 19. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 81. Right. I won't forget. Is that 81. Yeah. 19. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got it. 81, yeah. I remember it. I remember it. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, keep that out. So it's something that will get no problem. Be dowered to. No, what I would like to do is, uh, yeah. like, you've given me one of the things I wanted uh, people to be aware about. I caused a, a number of Muslims apostates here, mm -hmm. and they don't believe the Quran. They don't, okay, yeah. And I've been trying to show that really Islam is a deen. It's a way of life that people are cultural Muslims in the West, mm -hmm. and we need to understand that respect and respect that. Because in the sense of yourself, you have your own interpretation mm. of Islam and that's your personal relationship mm. with who you call the creator. Yeah, yeah. And we can't label every Muslim as one kind of kettle no. of fish. No, that is a no. wrong interpretation. No, no. We, we, no. Even within uh, Muslims you see differences as yes. well. Yes, well, well, just, well, like just like in every group of people. You see that every yeah. week here, I guess. They but always yeah. divide between When the these yeah, differences yeah. are so many, yeah and so many people have different interpretations. Mm. That means majority of people, like I've said here, don't understand Islam. Mm. I believe I, I do believe understand that, yeah. Islam. I, I think I understand I it a lot more than well. a lot of Muslims do. Mm. I believe this because I've seen it in culture as it's lived. Mm. Yeah, and I've known a lot of things that a vast majority of Muslims have not read the Quran or the yeah, Bible. They haven't, they haven't. That they really yeah, just they're, stick they're, with the rituals. Yeah. And mm. I don't think yeah. I'm wrong yeah, making that I, Islam. Even if you look at like, you know, if you come from an Arabic family or Muslim family, it's a background. You can look, back, you yeah, can look, you can look at your forefathers and yes, see exactly yeah. what they were doing. There yeah. you go. If you are the Shia, the Sunnis, etc. If you come from a Shia background, yeah. you know your parents believe this is the right way, yeah. and they look upon Sunnism. It's slightly different, but they're still brothers. Yeah. But there's some in between. They say no, 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 no. These are not. <coughs> they're not brothers. Well, X, Y, Z reason. 
And this is all to the mislead and divert and uh, distract from the truth. And that's how right. I see it. Okay. Because every week for arguments, for instance, people come here to debate what? Shia Sunni, Shia Sunni. Yeah, 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 fight, I know. Instance, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. Yeah. What, what do you actually derive from it? Do people actually mm. consider that? They only, all they try to do it, what I see is they'll back their points. That's why I actually, when the camera earlier came, I was like, Yeah, yeah no, I can yeah. understand. Yeah, because yeah, again, I, yeah. I have my understanding I understand, and I'm trying to, oh, like, mm. like we all do, we are certain in our beliefs. Yes. We tend, we tend to everyone. Yeah, they you all, in the truth most people or not, come to a conclusion. This is yeah. what it is. What, what we try to do as evangelists, we're teachers. <laughs> so it's not only it's the critical dialogue we've had with you has given you insight to some things yeah. that you weren't aware of. Mm -hmm. And then you've understood that some Christians have taken time to try and understand Islam mm. from a perspective mm. that is not Islamic, mm -hmm. uh, like a theologians actually. But also, um, I hope, what I really hope is that you take that Bible and read what mm. this brother provided. Uh, I've highlighted that epistle so that you can ask us critical questions. Yes. No uh, that is what I want. No, I want you to come. I say, you know what? I don't believe yeah. in your Jesus. But yeah. What does this mean? With more critical, yeah, so with more information. With, yeah, with more information to ignorance. arm yourself. Yeah. Yeah. We're like we've had a, yeah. I've had an idea of the Quran and the things that I yeah, didn't so, understand. Yeah, and like I, I asked mentioned you. As well, yeah. This individual, if you have, if you have got free time on YouTube, is called Sam Garrett. Sam Garrett. He, okay. he, Sam Garrett. Sam Garrett. So G A G E. -R -R oh, somebody talking about him. Okay, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, I mean, yeah. If you, if you want to okay. look what at is him, he? he, he's, he's coach. He's English. Okay. He's, he's looked into the Quran, studied his whole life. Academic um, scholar. He's, he's translated the Quran. Right, himself. okay, right, sure. So he, he sees Islam completely different. Okay. okay. And people, you know, if they, they took something from what I said mm. and they understand something, look at his stuff, man. Oh, right, all right. He, right. he speaks a lot more clear stuff. Okay, right? sure. No, you, you and he speaks clear. about everything, like mm. the elite, um, Muslims, right. okay. what the traditional Muslims do versus now. Because at the end of the day, we tend to follow our forefathers. Yeah. No, no, we do. We'll talk about cultural You're absolutely right. You're yeah. absolutely we right. No, no, we all do that. And if but I, you get to the point where you have to... Mm. I was in a specific sect within mm. Mm. Muslims. If I didn't start looking at questions, I would have still been in that sect. Oh, there you and go. God where tells did you us start? Ah, uh, sorry. What, what, what sect did you? Shias. Oh, okay. All oh, okay. oh, right. And you change that? Uh, yeah. You're Sunni. You don't, you don't, not even like. Oh. I don't, I don't, you, don't, you shouldn't call yourself anything. Okay. The Quran says it. Do not be like of just Muslim. Yeah. yeah. Submit it to God. That's it. Um, God. That's sort of room. Do not be like of those who have ascribed to God. Of those who. What chapter is that? Can you say the chapter? Sort of the room. Chapter. Sort of uh, I know chapter. Room. room. Okay. Okay. Um, just I want him to conclude this point yeah, sure. because you know what's important right. is that we have a misconception about what Islam is Absolutely. and this Carry is a on. Muslim Sorry. that yeah, is showing us Carry Islam on. from another perspective yeah. mm. okay. and it's important that your message gets out mm. not everybody will agree with it and mm. you like you're saying in, even in your community mm. but the fact is that's what you practice you no, do your prayers right. yeah, so yeah. there you go that's the sign so just that, to confirm yeah. you don't call yourself at a Sunni no because like Shia. I said um, do not be God says do mm. not be of those who describe we call it the yeah, yeah. Of those who have divided the religions and become sects. Yeah. Each each sect rejoicing in what it has. Shias are proud of what they have, yeah. for instance. Mm. Sunnis are proud of what they have. And when God wants unity, do not divide. God it's says. very interesting. <laughs> God says yeah. do not divide, but yet we're fighting in the Middle East mm. uh, about our differences. Mm. Saudi with Iraq, Iran, all of the history now, like hundred years ago, you know, you, you probably don't know more than me mm. like, about mm. the history. Mm. And all of that, what? Because the devil exists. Because at the end of the day, our, our, our biggest enemy is the devil. That's right. That's what it is. But they, we don't realize. Like, you're absolutely right. You're that's right. right. It's, it's a spiritual right. battle. Uh, I'll it. say that um, sometimes we need to take into place uh, mm. a person's personal morality. Absolutely. And I see that you have a care for the yes. greater community. Yes. Yeah, and that is. Th that's what, that's what honorable. Muslims should do. Yes. Muslim means submitted to God or peace as well. Muslim. There's some guy who translated it as peacemaker. That's what it means as well. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell you a, a good. Um, <coughs> I, I shared this testimony earlier on in the press. Okay. Well, I think that before I became a Christian, I right. was a wild child. Uh, okay. Uh, I used to be a network engineer in the night time for a, a company uh, yeah. with a group. And every um, break time, we used to go to the strip club. Okay. And we had a, one of the guys in the group was a Muslim guy mm. who came from the tribal areas of Pakistan. Yeah. And he had his, uh, yeah. Is that yeah. <laughs> a fight? This is what I mean.
Come on guys, it's just a religion guys. This is not my <laughs> Exactly man. Just between normal religion and peace. Normal religion and peace. That's fun to hear though. It's disgusting man. That's my problem. My brother, my brother, Sorry. You just wrap up with us, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Say bye bye to this guy. So, so what's your name, my friend? Mustafa. I want to shake your friend, Mustafa. I want to say this is a very good conversation, very fruitful. This is what we should actually be doing in the park. Can Seriously. I record? Can I record? No, it's finished. Yeah. Going? Well, no. finished now. You can no. carry on if you no. want to afterwards. No. But, um, uh, I'd like to thank you, yeah. Mustafa, for oh, your yeah. time. Thank you really, really, um, you gave us some insight into what some a certain understanding, a certain understanding of this We should do a part two, JC. Yeah, yeah. Your name again, sorry? Mushtaba. Mushtaba, Hudson. 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 Yeah, we should do a part Yacoub. two when we see you Yacoub. again. Yacoub. Do you come regular? Mm, you don't? Okay, maybe I, if we I see you again. Yeah. Okay, God bless. God bless you. God bless, God bless man. Cool, uh, thank you. So let, let's just uh, yeah. do we'll a conclusion. Up, yeah, cool. we'll, What we'll do, yeah. both of us, what we'll wrap up is that if you look at the Dean of Islam and the culture behind Islam, we can see that a lot of Muslims have a personal reflection of what their religion means. Mm. So we should be very careful not to Absolutely. Uh, you put, know, everybody in the same put everyone in the same bracket as uh, bloodthirsty tyrants or whatever. Because you can see the humanity in the brother we saw, we spoke to earlier on. And uh, trying to understand our, our Muslim brothers also helps us to approach on how to give them the gospel Absolutely. of salvation. Absolutely. Because if we don't understand where they're coming from as individuals, mm. how can we give uh, tailor the message towards them? Whether the man takes up the message of Christ is another thing in time. Right. Right. But without dialogue, they cannot understand where we're coming from. Absolutely. And as if you see, he doesn't believe in Jesus' resurrection no, no, and no, death. No. Mm but he's never read the Bible yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's yeah. never heard the script. So it's important that Christian missionaries that are choosing to uh, prepare the gospel of salvation should be very aware that a lot of people have not heard about Jesus and are not aware. Uh, Brother Hudson, you, you started off so you Yeah, that's know fine. More. No, I started talking to him over there about an hour ago and it, it, it started off as a usual kind of... He was actually talking about the um, St. John 14 and he was talking about the Holy Spirit. So we were talking about who was the Holy Spirit. And I thought, uh, you know, same old conversation again. But then, um, I know, Mike. But then what really struck me is that he said, no, I really want to understand this, which is key. Which is what I said to you before, you know, sometimes you just got to, you know, because I've kind of come to the conclusion that uh, if you get into certain arguments, it's the same old thing. But one thing you do have got to identify is, because usually when we talk about the Muslims, we talk about the Dawah thing, let's be clear about that. We're talking about the ones that hear every week asking the same questions. You've got to realize when people fall outside of that group. And even if it's somebody you've seen before, but if they fall outside of that official group, you should give them time. And I'm trying to, this is a kind of note to self, to tell the truth. It's really a note to self. Did you remember that huh? surah I mentioned? Uh, 84, was it? 8119. 8119, thank yeah, you. It's something because, that we yeah. need to check out. So just to yeah. wrap up, because I started over there with him about the Holy Spirit, but then what really clicked is when he says, no, I really want to understand this. And he was asking, is the Holy Spirit? And I said, how can the Holy Spirit be um, um, Muhammad, but the Spirit of the Prophet? And he said, no, I understand that. But he's talking, and it's key because uh, throughout the whole conversation, he was saying, I understand what I'm saying, but this is what I understand. And this all came from the fact that he's never spent time with the scriptures. You know, his background is cultural. He grew up in a Muslim background, and he just got these views. It's not based on evidence, so, which was key. But he was honest about that, so that's key. You know, before, prior to you came in, he was saying all along the way, this is just what I believe based on what I've been told we, and I'm going to hold on to it so that's key can we say one thing yeah. in yeah. regards because I know some Muslims will start saying oh he's not a true Muslim please do not demean this guy's character this guy was giving us some explanations according to his knowledge on, on Islam and what he feels about Islam. So I wouldn't, I would classify it not being fair if they were going against him and say he's not a real Muslim. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He doesn't, no. because we've come across many Muslims that say they're Quran only, they don't believe in the tafsir or yeah. the um, hadith. Yes. Um, is there anything else we could add um, on? No, that's just it. I just think, I just want to wrap up by literally saying this is what we should be here for. This is the kind of conversation we should have. And we should make 
and maybe yeah, make more of an yeah, effort to find yeah, people yeah, that yeah. want to hear the message. And then you leave it with them. You can't convert anyone. You have no power to, you know, change anyone or save them. Our message and our mission are to give them the gospel and let it rest with them. Today has been a very fruitful yeah. day. I've had dialogue with uh, three yeah. Muslim men and spent over three hours. And I gave one an Arabic New Testament. And uh, the reason I gave them these uh, scriptures is so that they can ask critical questions and come back to us so we can say, oh, look, I don't understand this in the Bible. So we can do our role as teachers yes, of the gospel. Yes. And um, glory to the Lord for Amen. a gate of understanding. Yes. There seems to be a kind of, the, the Muslims are asking us critical questions yes. and coming into dialogue to get But to in theory, answer. this is what Speaker's Corner is about. This is a yes. good example of how it should be all the time. Yes. Engage those that want to hear the gospel. What they do with it, it's up to them in God from there. Yes. But give them the gospel so that they don't just, they're not just with a straw man argument. Oh, oh yes. yes. So so you have to understand where I'm coming from and then you reject the right thing. Hopefully, if you see it next time, there'll be a better platform for that. Should I finish that testimony about that guy at work and the strip clubs or should I keep that up? I'm gonna cut that off. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um, you can put it if you think it's appropriate. No, no, yeah, I don't that, think it is. Yeah. What it was, it was a religious guy and he saved one month and uh, at the end of the month he wanted to go to the club and guess what? He wanted to use the money to get the women. He thought that they didn't have homes. So that was a true Muslim character. He, he didn't want to do it to get entertainment but to as an act of charity. So always remember that the Muslims we're all human, doesn't matter what religion, just like Buddhists, uh, we have to cut work on the humanity. But our job as Christians is saving people from eternal damnation by explaining to them the death of Christ on the cross, right. which is the true gospel, and the resurrection, which the Quran denies. And that is the reason why we have to tackle them on that, that they read and understand the cause and effect of what Christ is mm. for the greater community. Thank you. Thank you very much.